Hello my dear doers, welcome back to our UDU 18 module development tutorial series. In today's session, we will be creating a new module from scratch. Let's start by opening our project. I will be using VS Code in this tutorial. Feel free to use PyCharm or any other IDE you're comfortable with. In the previous tutorial, we have already set up our development environment. We have added two folders in our VS Code workspace which is the current UDU 18 module development tutorial and UDU 18 community base code. Inside our project folder, we have added the UDU configuration file and the custom add-ons folder. Under the run and debug, we have created a launch.json file in order to run UDU. We have specified the UDU bin program, the Python 3.11 virtual environment, and the configuration file for this UDU project. Before we click the run button, let's go back to our files and create a new module. All the module can be created by adding a new folder to the custom add-ons folder. Just make sure that this folder has been added in the configuration file. In this tutorial, we will be creating a new application which is a polling system. Having said that, let's name the folder as simple as poll. Inside that folder, create the two basic files in order for this folder to be recognized as Odoo module. Create the init and the manifest file. It's important that Odoo manifest starts and end with double underscore, just like the init file to be identified as Python package. The manifest file is specific for Odoo to load the module metadata. For the manifest file, we can just simply copy existing file from the account module. Let's open the manifest file, copy, and paste it to our manifest file. Let's remove not necessary data for now like the assets, post init hook, demo, data, and dependencies. Change the website link, change the category as polling polling, the description as polling system, as well as the name and the summary. For the version, let's make it 1.0. Let's remove this and start Odoo. Make sure PostgreSQL is running. Go back to Odoo, update the apps list, and search for poll. Let's check the module info, and here are the metadata we've just added from the manifest file. The author, we can change that later, but the website and other data are all correct. Let's go back to the manifest file and update the author and add your name. Restart Odoo and let's check again. Alright, it's working fine. Right now, we can activate it but nothing will happen because we didn't add any data yet. So here are the things that we need to do in order to make this module workable. First, we need to create a model. A model is where we define the structure of our database, how we store, organize, and manipulate the data. Let's create a new folder model. After the model, we need to create a view so that we are able to see those data inside our model. To define a view, we need to add it inside the folder views. Next, we need a security in order to secure not only the model, but also the views. Next, we need to create a static folder where our assets will be stored like the images, style sheets, JavaScript, and XML templates. This model, views, security, and static folder are the basic folders we need for now. But there are other folders as well that we will discuss later, such as controllers, data, demo, report, and wizard. To start with, let's open the model folder and create a file and name it pol.py since we are going to build a polling system. To create a model, we need to import models and fields from Odoo. Then create a new class that extends odoomodels.model. For a simple polling system, we need to have a question and a list of answers. So let's name the class as poll question, the model name as poll.question, and the description as poll question. Every model we define here will be stored as tables from the database. Since models are tables, next we need to define the columns. In Odoo, defining table column is done using the fields. There are different types of fields in Odoo like char, text, integer, 
and others. For this model, we need three fields which are the name, description, and list of answers. The name will be a char field, description as text field, and the answer IDs as a one-to-many relational field. This means we can create multiple answers from a single question. Before we add the target model to this field, let's first create the model and name it Paul Answer. That extends all models that model. Name it as Paul that answer. The same with the description. In this model, we need a name as a char field, the count as an integer field, and the question ID as many to one relational field to which this answer will be connected. For many to one field, you need to define the target model, which in this case will be Paul that question. The same with one to many field, you need to define the target model, which is Paul that answer. And an additional parameter inverse name from the target model which is question id for now these are the fields we need so let's create the init file and import poll.py file under the main init file let's import all the models let's restart odoo and activate our module to verify if models has been created go to settings technical database structure and models. Search for poll and there you go. We have poll question and poll answer. Kindly note that Odoo automatically creates some fields like the ID, create date, create UID, write date, write UID, and display name. We can also verify that from the database using pgadmin. Select the database name under schema Scroll down until you see the tables that it starts with Paul. In Odoo, model names will automatically converse the period to underscore. Now that we have created the model, we need to show this on screen so that we can add, edit, and delete records. Basically, we need to add views. But in Odoo, it can automatically load the default views if you haven't created yet. There are three things we need to create. It's the window action the menu item, and the security. All of these are basically has its own model and is stored from the database, thus created the same way as we created our current models. Window action is the most common way to present visualizations of a model. You can see all actions under technical, actions, window actions, and stored under ir.actions.actwindow model. So we need to create window action connected to our new model Paul that question. You can create it directly from the app, but this will have issues like not possible to inherit and when installing this module to other databases. The proper way is to create it from the code using XML. To create the record from XML, under the views folder, create a new file Paul views.xml. Let's define the XML version and encoding as UTF-8. The parent element must be Odoo. To create a new record, we need to use the record tag. Then we need to add an ID to identify this record and can be used for inheritance. Let's call it action poll question. Next is the target model, which is ir.actions.actwindow. Next, we need to add some data to this record using the field tag. We need to identify the model fields using the name attribute. These are the mandatory fields we need to add, which are the name of the action, the rest model or the target model, which is Paul that question. Next is the view mode where you define different views like list and form view. There are different types of views available that you can use depending on what you need, like pivot, activity, and others. For now, we only need the list view and the form view. Now let's register this on the manifest file under the data so that when we upgrade this module, this record will be saved to the database. Whenever you change any Python code in Odoo, you need to restart Odoo in order to work. Go back to the browser and upgrade the module. To verify if it was successfully created, open the command palette and search window actions. Search Paul and there you go, we have successfully created a record. The next thing we need to create is the menu item so that we are able to view and click this module on the list of apps. The same with the window actions, menu items has its own model. 
you can check that under settings, technical, user interface, menu items. When creating a menu item, we need to define an action. And there are different actions that can be linked, like the window action we just created. Other types are not important at this time. In order to create a new menu item, we can do the same we did when defining the window action. But Odoo created a shortcut XML tag menu item to make it easier to define menus. From the views folder, create a new file, pollmenus.xml. Let's define the parent element, Odoo, then create a menu item using menu item tag. We need to define the ID as menu underscore polling and the name as polling. Since this is a parent menu, we don't need to define an action, but we need to add the submenus. To do that, let's close the parent element and inside create another menu item. Let's define the ID as menu polling question, name as polling questions, and now an action which is the window action we created earlier. Let's copy and paste then register it under the manifest file, restart Odoo, go back to the browser and upgrade our module. To check if it was successfully created, go to the menu items and search polling. And there you go, we have successfully created the menu items. But if we click the main menu, our app doesn't show. It's because we haven't defined a security. In Odoo, it's important to define security for each model. The same with the window actions and menu items, securities has their own model. There are two types of security we need to define, the access rights and user groups. For access rights, you can check that under settings, technical, security, access rights. To create a new access rights, we need to create a new file under the security folder and name it ir.model.access.csp. The column must have these fields, the name, model, group, read, write, create, and delete. We can just simply copy existing file in account module. Copy the column and paste. What we can do here is to define access rights for normal user and for admin user. For the access right, let's define the ID as access poll question user, name as access.poll.question.user. We just basically replace the underscore with period. For the model ID, it should be the word model underscore plus the name of the model from the database, which is Paul underscore question. For the group ID, we need to create later. For now, let's leave it blank. For this access, let's allow read, write, create, accept, unlink, or delete. Let's duplicate this and simply replace user to admin and allow unlink to have it full access. For the groups, let's create a new file security.xml. Creating a new record is the same way like we define the window actions. First, let's add Odoo as the parent element. Then use the record tag, add ID as group underscore poll underscore user and the target model as rest.groups. Let's define the name as poll user. Let's duplicate this code and replace user with admin for the higher access. The one thing we need to define here is the implied IDs. This field is a many to many field where you can add existing groups like the one we just created. By doing this, you automatically add any access rights connected to this group. You don't need to learn this for now. I'll try to create a separate video for this. All right, we have successfully created the two groups. Let's now go back to access rights and add these two groups, poll.group.pollUser and poll.group.polladmin. Remember, we have also another model, which is poll.answer. Let's duplicate this code and replace it with answer. For this model, let's add all access to poll.user. Since poll.user has been added under the implied IDs for poll admin, the access will be automatically added without adding access rights to poll admin to this model. Now let's register this to the manifest file under the data. We need first to add a security.xml file to make sure the groups will be created before creating the access rights to avoid errors. Restart Odoo, go back to the browser, and upgrade our module. Now if we click the main menu, nothing shows because we didn't assign any user to the group we created. Let's go to the list of users and open the admin user. 
scroll down and tick the checkbox as poll user. Now let's reload and open the main menu. And now we have successfully loaded our app which is polling. As you can see the default views has been loaded without defining any views. We are able to add a new record, add a list of questions, update the data, but not able to delete. In order to be able to delete, let's go to the users and tick the poll admin. Go back and reload. And now we are able to delete this record. Lastly, let's move on in creating views. Udo let us define views easily by creating a record under the model IR.UI view. You can check that under technical user interface views. If you group it by type, there are different types like calendar, activity, pivot, etc. In this tutorial, let's focus on creating two views. Views are the list view and form view we define from the window action. To create a new view, under poll underscore views.xml file, let's create a new record having ID as poll question list view. And the target model will be ir.ui.view. Let's add the name the same as the ID and change underscore with period. The model as poll.question. Now we can define the form view as you want under the field name args or architecture and type as XML. To define a list view, Use the list tag as the parent element, followed by the list of field names like the name and description. Let's duplicate this code and instead of list, replace it to form. In form view, we need to add two tags, the sheet to wrap these fields with white background and the group to automatically add the label and input fields. Then the notebook tag to add a list of tabs and using page tag for each tab. We can add a name and a string as answers and add the one to many field answer IDs. Now let's go back and upgrade the module. And there you go, we have successfully added the list and form view. That's it guys for this tutorial and I hope to see you next on the next topic. Before we end, a big shout out to the new joiners of my channel membership. Thank you guys for your support.